There's a popular saying that goes like this, love has no religion. And in this episode, we're looking at 10 Muslim actors who broke the boundaries of religion and married Hindu women. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton, and this is another episode in our famous Muslims episode series. So let's go, we got 10 actors to go through, so let's take a look. Starting at number 10, we have Zayed Khan and Malaika Parekh. Zayed Khan is a son of Sanjay Khan, who's a popular Bollywood actor himself. And Zayed moved in the footsteps of his cousin Fardeen Khan, who too also married a Hindu woman. Zayed had to face several difficulties to marry his sweetheart from school, Malaika, but he faced all of them and he finally got married to her in 2005. Zayed proposed three times to Malaika and she also has three rings. And they have two kids named Zidane and Aries. Next up we have Irfan Khan and Sutapa Sikdar. The multi-talented Bollywood actor Irfan Khan met Sutapa at the National Institute of Drama where they both studied and they were in the same class. Now their love story really started there and it's still going strong and they were married for over a decade and after having two kids, Babil and Aryan. Number 8 we have Nasiruddin Shah and Ratna Patak. Nasruddin Shah is one of the best actors in Bollywood and he had to go through, yes, a big struggle to marry Ratna as he was already married to Parveen Murad. But they were unable to settle on a mutual divorce so he first started to live in with Ratna. And then finally in the year 1981 he got a divorce after paying spousal support and making a sacrifice of losing custody of his 12 year old daughter Hiba. Parveen Murad unfortunately passed away soon after the divorce and she was suffering from cancer which she had hidden from him for a long time until she could secure the spousal support that he paid out to her so that she could look after her daughter. It's a very unfortunate end for her but Nasiruddin married Ratna after the passing of his previous wife and they're the parents of two sons. And number seven brings us Fardeen Khan and Natasha. Fardeen is the son of famous actor Faraz Khan and Fardeen and Natasha knew each other since childhood. Fardeen proposed to her while flying from London to the United States. Now, now they were engaged in London and later got married in Mumbai, India in the year 2005. Now for both the engagement and the wedding, they stayed at exclusive hotels, like I mean high class live in. They have a daughter named Diana Isabella Khan. The actor at number 6 is Sohail Khan and his wife Seema Sachdev. Sohail Khan is the younger brother of Salman Khan and Arbaz Khan and his wedding with Seema turned out to be a Bollywood film style type of wedding. And that was the same day that his film PR Kia to Darna Kia was released. They ended up having two kids Nirvan and Johan. The couple at number 5 is Arbaz Khan and Malaika Arora Khan. For Arbaz Khan it was really easy for him to marry Malaika, although he is a Muslim and Malaika is a Hindu Christian. Malaika's mother agreed to their decision to marry without any fighting and argument whatsoever. And she put forward only one condition that the wedding would take place in a church. So Arbaz, of course, he agreed to this and he got to marry his lady back in 1997. And they had a son and named him Arhan. And they're one of the most looked up to couples in Bollywood. And their romance continues to live on for years. The next couple is Imran Khan and Avantika Malik. Imran Khan is Amar Khan's nephew and he made his Bollywood film debut with the movie Jane Tu Ya Jane Na. Unlike other actors who chose to remain single when their career just started, Imran married Avantika Malik in the year of 2011 and the couple spent 10 years together before they actually tied the knot and got married. Saif Ali Khan is up next and Amrita Singh and Karina Kapoor. Saif Ali Khan followed the footsteps of Amar Khan by marrying twice and his first marriage took place in the year 1991 and that was with Amrita Singh who was raised as Sikh although she did belong to a Muslim Sikh family and now they were divorced in the year 2004 and Saif went on to marry Karina Kapoor in the year 2012. Now their marriage was one of the most anticipated marriages in Bollywood. They both fell in love on the sets of a movie and they started dating each other and that was very public and Karina Kapoor Kapoor, obviously she's praised for her work in Bollywood acting, but she got even more praise for narrowing the religious divide that still exists in India. So a lot of people give her mad respects 
for that. Number two brings us Amr Khan and Rina Dutta and Kiran Rao. So like I mentioned, yes, Amr Khan was married twice. He's known as Mr. Perfectionist in Bollywood and he married Hindu women. And his first was Rina Dutta, who he married in 1986 at a very early age, going against everything that his parents wanted. Now his relationship with Rina ended with a mutual divorce after 16 years and after having two kids together with her. Now later, Amr married the film director Kiran Rao, who was another Hindu woman in the year 2005, and they had a son named Azad Rao Khan. And finally, at number one, we have King Khan himself, Shah Rukh Khan and Gauri Khan. Shah Rukh Khan, yeah, you know, he had to really come correct to get his woman. It took a long time for his wife to agree to go out with him and eventually get married to him. But not only that, he had to get her family to agree with this. And you know, we all know Shah Rukh Khan. He's one of the most popular Bollywood stars at the current moment. But when he proposed to Gauri, he was just an actor in Indian television. Moreover, she was Hindu and her parents were very strict against marrying a Muslim man. Shah Rukh Khan, he left no stone unturned. He did what he had to do to prove his love. And in the end, he got married with her on October 25th, 1991. And this couple is one of the most respected and successful couples in Bollywood. And they have two children, Aryan and Suhana. Alright guys, so that was a look at 10 Muslim actors who are extremely famous that married Hindu women. Let me know down below in the comments section what you thought about this episode. And also, I'm curious to know what are some restrictions and limits that you have in your belief, regardless of your religion, about marriage? Sound off down below. If you guys want more FCD facts in your day, here's another video that you can check out. My social media links are also down there below, so follow me over there, shoot me a message. And if you haven't done so already, guys, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That way you'll keep up to date with our daily FCD facts episodes. I don't want you to miss any of them. All right, guys, great hanging out with you. Stay awesome, stay educated, and I'll see you real soon.